Welcome to Brahma Reference. Today we will discuss about how we can load the data from local CSV file to Snowflake table using Python code without any manual process. Let's discuss. First, we need to keep our files in one of the folder in your local machine. I kept my file here. The file name is Australia Grocery 2022 September. So if I open this file, I have lakhs of records, okay, and I have one header too. So whenever the new file comes to this folder, I want to load that new file to my Snowflake uh, into my Snowflake table with the updated data. So in order to fulfill these kind of requests from clients, we need to uh, go with these approaches actually. So first, we need to uh, have one table created. To load the data this is the new table that i created for it so if you see some options here this is the table having more than 22 uh, columns based on the uh, csv file we need to create the table so uh, table creation process is very simple we can also uh, automatically create the table uh, using python code it will uh, take the first row to create the table that i will discuss with you later and I have created the table already. This is the table having 22 columns. And you can see the columns and there's the data types here. Now, uh, let's see, uh, we have uh, some data. Let me delete it here. So if I do something like this, I can delete the records. I have deleted 30 records now. Let me refresh it. So there is no data. And uh, copy history. So copy history means based on the data loading, uh, it will capture the audit actually. This is for audit purpose. Whenever it gets refreshed, whenever uh, the data loads, new data loads into the uh, this table, it will uh, capture the transactions here. Okay. Now the table is there and file is here. File is here. Now I want this uh, this data to be loaded into Snowflake table without any manual interaction. So we need to uh, go with Python code. So here is the Python code that can help us with uh, loading the data from local CSV to Snowflake table. So I use uh, Snowflake connectors to connect with the Snowflake and I use these two important libraries uh, to handle uh, large data sets. And I'm going to use uh, this connect to Snowflake option, uh, connect is equal to Snowflake connector dot connect. Here I need to give my Snowflake username and password and I need to give account and uh, warehouse and database and schema okay these three are very important based on this the data will be uh, loading into these uh, warehouse this uh, database this particular schema okay the end table should be under this okay now i will tell you something about uh, the account okay this should be the account okay here you need to give your account uh, uh, details right so in order to uh, fill this one i'm going to help you out so you need to give this one so how you can get this uh url so if you go to uh your snowflake and go to admin there will be an option accounts so if you click here the uh, URL will be copied for you. So the, this one you need to take on a give here, okay, to connect with Snowflake. After that, I need to give a CSV file where it resides. So my file is under this particular location. C users HP uh, desktop and uh, under desktop um, there is one folder CSV. In the folder I have this file, okay. Now I need to specify the target table name. So my table name is new table, which is already made available in uh, Snowflake under uh, Jeshwin DB, uh, under Jeshwin DB public uh, uh, schema. Okay, the table name is new table. Now, now I need to read the file CSV file. So I'm going to use data frame in Python uh, using uh, PD. I, I use pandas okay pandas library to read this data set i don't want to <coughs> read all the rows actually it is having more than one right so i'm just using n rows is equal to 100 so it reads only 100 
records. You, if I uh, remove this, it will read entire file. So I don't want to read entire file. And here I am also trying to give some uh, handling uh, mechanism for uh, uh, values, missing and invalid, invalid values actually. After that, I'm going to create one particular cursor object to load this data using HTML uh, option, okay? Uh, so insert each row from data frame into table. Uh, I'm using each row option uh, using tuple row. So uh, I can also use uh, batch processing uh, where uh, it will help me to load the data uh, within no time. Uh, for every batch, I can give 1,000 or 2,000 based on the requirement. Uh, if you insert something using each row, it will take more time. Okay. Now I need to commit the changes and I need to close the cursor which I created here to insert the, to write uh, insert query and I need to close the connection. So now, <clears throat> now I need to load the data, right? So I'm keeping 20, okay, 10 is fine, okay. I just want to load the uh, 10 records around, okay, whatever it reads, right, data frame. Data frame reads only 10 records and it will load uh, 10 records to 10 records into Snowflake table. So I need to, now uh, we are all set for executing this particular Python program. It is getting executed. Perfect. It went well without any issues. So without wasting time, let's uh, look at the table if the data is loaded or not. See, 10 rows are there updated just now so it is working now let's change this to 15 and execute it again control a control s and let me run it again so now you will see 25 records because the whole 10 and another 15 will be there because i'm not um, <coughs> using any duplicate uh, uh, option actually so let's see uh, let me refresh it yeah 25 records like this uh, we can <coughs> make use of uh, python script whenever the new file comes into uh, the folder uh, it can uh, automatically load the data from that uh, new file to snowflake table for this we can uh, make use of this python code and we can automate it using a powershell script the same can be done in uh, uh, snowflake itself actually but uh, we if something can be done outside with our uh, resources uh, snowflake will not charge you anything so this will be saving the uh, cost for the end user if you implement something like this externally uh, out of snowflake you can save the amount uh, otherwise, if you implement something like this and it all triggers uh, multiple times, right, the uh, computing uh, service uh, uh, will be uh, uh, charged for the end user. So, in order to reduce the compute service set for the end user, we can uh, implement uh, these kind of programs and these uh, kind of schedules outside of the software. Hope uh, you got, uh, you understand uh, the process, right, how we can load the uh, local file, uh, CSV or anything. Uh, into Snowflake with, with uh, Python code. I'll play, place this Python code in my uh, video description where once I upload this uh, video in YouTube. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Please share, subscribe.